I'm in an electric car on a 300 mile trip across the UK. This is a lockdown mission to find out if an electric vehicle revolution is about to happen. Across the world, governments are putting up ambitious targets for environmentally friendly transport. The EU aims to reduce its greenhouse gases by 80% in the next 30 years, and electric vehicles are a big part of that plan. The UK this week announced its ambition to stop selling cars that are wholly powered by petrol and diesel by the year 2030. So many more of us, it seems, will be buying electric cars in the next few years. And Lara has some tips for you on that later in the show. But first, I'm off to a place which may hold the key to the future of European electric cars. Cornwall is known for its fish, its stunning views and its tourism. But it's not always been that way. For most of its modern historical life, Cornwall has been a centre for mining. Silver, tin and copper were all pulled out of the ground to support the expanding British Empire. At one point in the early 19th century, this was the greatest copper producing region in the world. But as globalisation took hold, Cornish mining became too expensive to compete internationally, and so the mines were closed. But all that is changing. Traces of an element discovered in Cornwall in the 19th century have suddenly become rather important. This is lithium mica granite, and the important word there is lithium, as in the lithium ion batteries in your phone, in your computer, in your electric car. And some think that Cornwall may be the best place in Europe to supply it. There is lithium in the Czech Republic, but the boss of one company realized that the rock here in Cornwall was made of the same stuff. And we followed it up with a field trip and the first rock that Andrew picked up had all grade lithium in it. <laughs> British lithium is prospecting here in Cornwall and once they find a rich seam of lithium mica granite, they plan to build an open clay mine, a lot like this one. What's the ecological impact of a mine like this? Well, the footprint of a mine is actually very small. So the mine we're proposing will produce about a third of the total lithium requirement of the UK should the whole industry transform to an electric one from internal combustion. And the quarry will be quite modest, much smaller than this actually. Most of the development is a refinery. Now there are obvious advantages of a country making its own products rather than importing them, but there's actually another very important reason why batteries specifically need to be homegrown. Lithium batteries are very bulky, they're heavy and they're a dangerous good to transport. Um, a Model S Tesla has got a half tonne of battery in it, so it's a major component of the car. So battery makers co-locate with electric vehicle makers. You picture um, a Tesla factory, they've got chemicals and metals going on one end and cars driving out the other. Now if we want to have an electric car industry in the UK, we have to have a battery industry here. So what things can we do to attract a, a lithium battery industry in the UK? One thing is to have the only domestic source of the major component in Europe. There's none produced in the whole of Europe. And so it could be that Cornwall, along with the Czech Republic, become vital as Europe's hunger for lithium grows. So the amount of lithium we need in UK and also globally is going to increase dramatically over the next few years. By, so we calculate by 2035, we'll need five times as much lithium as we are mining now. So that's quite an increase. But at this stage, companies like British Lithium are still trying to work out where the lithium is. So I'm off to their lab to find out what happens to all the samples that they're digging out. Back at British Lithium's Cornwall lab, I met with their CEO, the man who discovered that first rock, to find out how Cornwall might be the answer to our battery problems. 
Now, it used to be that all lithium came from brines, created by water being pumped up from underground and then left to dry in massive lakes. The lithium could then be extracted from the salt left behind. But all that is changing. As the lithium industry is growing, those brine lakes can't keep up. They take 10, 20 years of evaporating to get going. So the world has switched over to hard rock, with Western Australia leading the charge. And now we're coming in with unconventional hard rocks, like we see with Tesla in Nevada, Bacanora in Mexico, Czech Republic, and here in Cornwall with mm -hmm. this lithium mica granite. So the first stage of exploration is we need to drill some diamond holes to see what's in the ground, not just at surface, but deep underground. So these holes are about 200 to 300 meters each. A diamond rig produces drill core, which looks like this. And it does two things. We can crush it down and get an analytical assay on the lithium content, but also it's useful for logging it. What's the difference between the lithium that you get here in Cornwall and the lithium that there is in Australia? The lithium in Australia is about twice the grade to what we see here. But in Australia, the seams are about three to six metres thick. Well, here we get 120 metres of continuous mineralisation. Wow, so each of these cores was joined on top of each other yeah. to the depth of each 100 or so metres. Each box is about metres. three metres. So we're going down the hole this way. And as you can see, this is continuous mineralization all the way down the hole. So to work out if this rock contains enough lithium worth mining, they need to send the rocks off for analysis. And before that, their geologist needs to get the mica out. So this is a lithium mica pegmatite, actually, with very coarse lithium mica flakes in it. Actually, with sieving it, we should get some of these mica flakes to separate. This is a small operation at the moment because they're still trying to find the best place to put the mine by seeing which drill holes contain the most lithium. This is prospecting at the very edge, the modern day equivalent of prospectors at the American frontier, hacking at rocks with pickaxes and panning for gold in rivers. You can see the quite coarse um, mica crystals in there still. And if you've got mica, is there definitely lithium in there, or is it possible no. that you can get mica without lithium? Mica is a very common mineral, so um, it's very important to be able to recognise which ones have lithium in and which ones don't. So the crushed minerals from each core are bagged separately and sent off to the lab. The results will show which location yielded the most lithium, at which point they know that they've struck gold. Well, lithium. So the data that we've got at the moment is a good indication that we're on the right track. At what point will you say, we'll, we'll put the mine here? Do you think it'll be in the next year or the next five years? or? I think it will be in the next one or two years. Yeah. So the lithium from Cornwall may one day end up in the batteries inside electric cars.